just as bad as losing to them in the state, honestly. We just wanted some revenge and not getting that done, it's really a sickening feeling. Hey, five! Heck of a game, my man, sir. You're the man. I'm mad at myself. The fumble overshadows everything else because that was a contributing factor to us losing the game. Bad feeling, right? Remember the feeling when you want to cut an edge. Remember what this feels like. Never again. Never again. We want to play them again. We want to have one more shot. We go to my house to watch film while it's fresh on our mind. Fourth and 15, everybody else would have punted. I thought I had a good play call. They weren't blitzing on fourth and long, so I thought we'd have time to run it. We did. I'm questioning, we didn't make fourth downs. Is this the way to keep going? Yeah. Looks over at this oh, line judge guy. Cool. Points at him. No line judge guy called it a fumble. I was really proud of our guys after the missed call that they were able to come back. And then, you know, I botched it at the end. We dominated him every way you could dominate. <sighs> I really want to play them again. That to be the playoffs. Nice, Fuda, good job. Fuda Shinkawa is an animal all over the field. Fuda Shinkawa caught him from behind. I was born in Japan and I moved to America when I was three years old. I'm 5'8", 155. I play outside linebacker. I was all state linebacker last year. Come on, more intense. And I just fly around the field. One of the very few all state sophomores I've had. His story is so unique, coming from Japan to Michigan to little bitty Arkansas. Show it, Fuda. I hadn't played football at all, let alone know what it was until I came to Little Rock. My eighth grade year, Coach Lucas came up to me and invited me to one of the practices. That started it all. People say I'm undersized, but Fuda, he's a linebacker. Picking up a new game that he had no idea about and now dominating where you leave the field, I'll guarantee you, you have noticed Fuda Shinkawa. I'm amazed at how good y'all can be, but I'm also amazed at how bad we can be. And we showed it at times Friday night. But we can't be that team. Y'all got to reassess and figure out how to get there. You lose one more game, we might not be in the playoffs. Guts, toughness, and resilience. Those are the most important qualities I stress to my players. And those are the qualities you don't find in a can of dip. They come from within you. It was a very tough loss, sickening loss. But you got to move on. Go! Oh. It's the old knockdown, got to get up thing, but man, that was a big knockdown. You gotta go on this side. You can't be stuck on it because that's not our goal. Behind, everything's behind, Braden. Our goal is to go win a state championship. If we can block for more than a second, we can score some points. How should we fix that play right there? How can we fix it? Then keep it out right. This week of practice, you can see some guys are still stuck on the loss. Fight back and get it, Jaden. I wish once you'd use all that athleticism and fight and fight and fight. Coach is going harder on us than usual. I'm just sick of watching our secondary halfway do stuff, and then in the game we halfway do stuff, and that's where we are. What did I tell you to do? That's why you're not playing. I'm not even going to say it anymore. She's going to let y'all do it, and we can suck. All right, I quit. Let's go to something else. I know you're going to do it if you want, but I know you think the team can't take it. They can't take it. I tell coach, just keep pushing me as hard as you want. We can still win a championship, but it's only if me and you are perfect. But I think some other players may not need that. Braden comes to me and he's worried about the way the kids are responding after the loss. And I'm worried to death about Jaden because he had that fumble. I don't know what he's thinking internally because he doesn't show it very much. For me, the season's been going all right. There's been kind of little hiccups with me and Coach Kelly. You ain't going to stand down here and use it as rest time. Jaden's not starting the game. I'm just ready to not even play yet. Look, immediately, we'll throw it before you get to anybody. I'm not really one to show a lot of emotion. Not only does like Coach Kelly angry with me with that, but that happens in my home life, too. Difficult for people to know that I'm actually putting forth a lot of effort and I care a lot. 
So far this season, I've received an offer from Western Illinois University. A few other colleges have been contacting me, but that's the only offer so far. Definitely disappointed. I've only played football. My whole life's just been football. That's the thing that kind of scares me. Devastating loss to Little Rock Christian, but I'm kind of excited to see how we rebound, and we're definitely going to have to keep getting better if we want to reach our goal, which is win a state championship. We have some pretty easy challenges coming up. We feel like we can go on a streak to get us on the right track and on this redemption tour that we have. To fight back and play extremely well is a nice signal for a coach to see. We come out and beat my mail. We're feeling good about ourselves. Hello? Where you at? I'm like a couple minutes away. All right, you gonna lose, dude. I don't think All right, whatever you say, dude. Going to Graham's house, he's got this pretty nice game room. We in the game room. And I'm not really a public type person. I'm kind of different with like friends. Jaden and Kelly is one of my best friends. The offers for Jaden just aren't rolling in. Yeah, dude. Like everybody thought they would. Having like 2,000 all-purpose yards last year. I just know what he's capable of. We come back, man. Come back, see you, I make a bet with Jayla McKinney that whoever loses has to jump into the pool. Do it. You better not. I told you. Don't do it to yourself. Uh, oh, oh my God. Yeah. What the? <laughs> Yo. Yo, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Jump in the pool. I kind of just like choke and end up losing. <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely kind of rubbing it in my face that I have to jump in the cold pool. All right, I guess I'll jump in the pool, dude. Later in the season, so the pool's not going to be warm. It's going to be cold. I touched it and I was frozen. Okay, no. That's really cold. Let's go, Jaden. Sorry, I had to do it to you. You want to play me, though. You only live once. You know, we like to have a good time. I'm going to score today. That's my goal. Yeah. I think Grandma scored. He just got to follow me. Oh, chill. The senior play is a play that any non-offensive skill positions, they get a chance to run whatever play they want. Have any advice for me scoring a touchdown today? You got to be able to reach your blocks well. If Caleb blocks there, you go out. Touchdown. Caleb, yeah. I got you. If Caleb runs full speed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he does be kind of running slow just because he's lazy. Uh, Caleb run full speed for me, though. Graham's kind of like the funny guy, makes the bad situations good. Oh, yeah, it's going to happen. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty confident, and I feel like if it's me one-on-one -on -one with somebody, it's an automatic touchdown. Every team needs a Graham. Cooper White, touchdown Bruin. Connell intercepts it, and he's going to take it all the way. Joe Hyman, there he goes. He makes that defender miss. Touchdown, Joe Hyman. All right, Graham's play. I definitely think Graham has a pretty good chance to score. So I know it's my chance. I wave the coach. He calls it. Graham Shear takes the handoff. He's in unfamiliar territory now. He bulldozes his way across the line for a touchdown. Oh, my gosh. I just start going crazy on the sideline. Easy, boys. Not shot, Graham. At all, yeah. I'm super excited for him. The guys are going crazy on the sidelines. The PA Bruins are back on track, winning 67 to 7. I don't make crap up to tell y'all stuff. We keep making the same mistakes when I tell my quarterback to throw it in the dirt on a screen, he doesn't. And then I look back and see how that's hurt us in other games. Last year in the state game, we ran a screen play and I didn't throw it in the dirt and ended up getting picked off and they ran it for a touchdown. Friday night, I call a screen pass and Braden makes a big mistake. We ran a screen pass and wasn't there and his number one rule was throw it in the dirt, the screen pass is not there. And uh, I did not do that. The whole time I was running, I was like, I know what's coming. Charlie is my favorite quarterback right now. Uh, Charlie is my favorite quarterback. Yeah, did you know that already? Not, but they became it tonight. And I want an answer in front of everybody, Braden. Do you have a rule if the screen is covered and it's not there, throw it at the ground? Have I given you that rule? Throw it at the ground. So when you decided not gonna do it, what is that saying about my rule? That's not right. That my rule's not right. Even though the crowd's going crazy, the other coaches are going crazy, he's gonna stick to what he believes. It all goes back to the same thing, and that is this. So 
Simple question, do you want to win? It was a moment that I felt like I had to make my mark on him where that doesn't happen again anywhere in this season. That's why I said you're not making pre-snap reads and all that other crap. You're just lining up and running the play Braden style. Whatever the freak happens, happens. Not me, Charlie, go. See, here's what I decided. Good, here's what I decided. We're not gonna win a state championship making the mistakes we've been making. So if we're not going to, I'm gonna keep going until we get a guy that'll do it my way. You're in, do you screw up, Charlie? You don't have any rope. I don't really get the reps that I'm wanting. Savannah, that's two kicks in a row that went freaking seven yards. Kick the ball harder. I'm in Dallas about playing at the next level. You have to give us a chance, Savannah. Don't cry, that doesn't do any good. You've got to hit the top half of the ball. Come on, you know this one is fire, fire. You better click the link in the bio real quick so you can get crazy. Pick the lightning bolts, huh, right? Big O, you know, stop playing games. We here, check out the videos right here and subscribe. It's about that time. You better subscribe, you better click that button though.